Hey y'all, for all my returning subscribers, welcome back to Kimmy B TV. If you're new here, just make sure that you stay tuned because you're really going to love it here. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, and like and share this video. Now, previously on the last vlog... So I had that went to the dentist and got my wisdom tooth pulled and my mouth was hurting, but that didn't stop nothing. We was outside, we was shopping, we was in all the stores, spending money. I ain't really found a whole lot though, y'all, but we did go to a few different stores. I did get the frames for my prints and I went home, I put my prints together and they look so beautiful. They came out perfect. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I really don't know what vlog this is. I don't know what vlog this clip is going into, so I'm gonna just do a little intro because apparently I never seem to do intros when I'm recording. Um, and honestly, this video is probably about to be a voiceover because it is the day after I got my wisdom tooth pulled and I don't really feel like doing all that talking right now. So, um, I will say that I've been working on, you know, I don't say I was like, well, yeah, I've been working on doing stuff in the kitchen um but i was just using stuff that i already had so i'm gonna show y'all what i did and then i also just went to target to pick up some other stuff just to add to what i already got um and i'm really mad because i ordered two mirrors um kind of like the well not kind of the exact same mirrors that are in the dining room um just the little you know the little room essential full length mirrors that everybody had when they in college or whatever. So I ordered two of those so I could stack them um to put them up in my room. Target allowed me to order them online. As soon as I get there to pull or uh, pick up my order, they're sending me notifications like, oh it's out of stock. Like why'd y'all let me order it? That was so annoying because now I have to wait until I go back to work on Monday um to go to Walmart and pick them up. Um just because I don't feel like doing all the extra driving. Like it's not super far. I just I just don't feel like doing nothing. Honestly, the going to Target thing was really supposed to be like a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, in and out type situation because I did a, like, drive-up order. Um, but when I drove up, one of the little plants, I ordered a kitchen plant, like, this big. So I had to go take a bed because it wasn't what I needed. And I should have known you can't get nothing out of Target for $10. But whatever. I'm going to show y'all what I did already. Um, and then I'm going to show y'all what I got to add. So, I decided to add this vase up here. Y'all remember that vase I come find and do with it. And then that black vase, it's, it's also a vase. It's just like, you know, one of the taller floor vases that I had upstairs in my room, but I didn't really want it up there. So, I emptied it out. Um, I stuffed like the flowers and stuff um, in the closet. But I emptied it out, put it up there to see, you know, how it would look. I kind of think I like how it looked. But what I am going to do is I am going to spray paint it. Um, I think I'm going to do the rim, the top and the bottom rim um silver and then do the in between like black and white um and then over here i found some phrases that i like that related to kitchen stuff but also life stuff um on google and then i went on canva and i made the design myself and then i just used picture frames that i already had so that one says season everything with love and the other one says life life is short mix it up um, and then I just got a bin over there. There's literally nothing in that bin, but don't nobody got to know that. I'm actually probably about to put that, um, that might be where I put like all my little souvenir cups and stuff. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it up there because I don't be having nowhere to put this stuff because it don't be matching my decor. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So on to the stuff that I'm about to do. So this is the third, um, third one that I made. Y'all look, the paper all dirty or whatever. But I got a clean one right here. Um, so this is the other one that I made and I had to go buy a bigger frame. Um, so I got a 12 by 18 frame. I'm about to put that in. And then I also went to, I returned that little flaw plant to Target and went to um, TJ Maxx and saw another one. Um, and then I got some black pillowcases for my bed. Cause I'm gonna also show y'all what I've been doing in my room. So yeah. Okay, so this is the picture frame that I just went and got. Um, just because I kind of wanted them to be layered. So that's the picture frame I just went and got. And then this is the kitchen plant that I just went and got. And this one is cute. 
cuter anyway. The other one, I had got it from Target because it said it was an asparagus fern or something like that. And I was like, oh, okay, that sounds like that belongs in the kitchen. You know, asparagus, people cook, prepare their asparagus in the kitchen, why not? And then I got it and it was literally this big and I was just like, Kim, no, this was stupid. And so what I did, I just printed this on regular computer paper. So that frame up there is a, a what is that? Like a 11, 11 by 14, I think. Um, and I didn't use no special paper. I really just used a regular sheet of eight by 10. Um, and then what I did was the little picture, like the, the stock photo that comes in it, I just flipped it over so we can have like, you know, even more of a white background that fits the frame. Um, and then I just put the picture on top of it. I didn't glue it or nothing. I just kind of put it on there. So all I'm doing is really just trying to lift these little flat things up. So I can open this. So yeah, this part of the stock photo, I just, you know, take that part out. I'm gonna put my image in try to center it as best as I can and then turn the stock photo paper over this one is a little wrinkly this paper is a little wrinkly but yeah this is what it looked like and it's gonna be on top of the cabinet so who's looking at us nobody because if you are mind your business People really like that. Go to people's house just to be inspecting stuff. Like, why? All right, then. So this is what we got. I'll take this little sticker off. I didn't even know they had 12 by 18 frames. So when I saw this one, I was happy. Um. Okay. So I got my little step ladder. Truly, I could not be bothered with that, <laughs> with that plant I and mean, the pot being broke. I went ahead and put it up there anyway. I just put it in that little white tray thing that I had before um, and set it in there so it can kind of still sit up. The pot is still broke. It's still broke. I'm going to fix it because I did buy some E6000 glue. But it's just not right now. I oh, My nerves. I cannot be bothered. But anyway, how that look? I like how this look. I specifically like the frames like I, I I'm in love I love those I love those and they look so like professionally done and I did it on Canva y'all just did it on Canva printed it out on some regular printer paper um but yeah anyway let's just oh um, so update I, the yarn thing, the yarn project that I was going to do with this poster board. When I tell y'all I searched high and low throughout my YouTube history yesterday and could not find the video of the girl doing the damn artwork. So I'm not going to do it. Um, and there's really not like a Hobby Lobby out here by my house. Um, so I'm gonna have to, it's gonna be a drive. Like I'm, it's like at least 20, 30 minutes. Um, but I don't feel like doing it right now or tomorrow, honestly. I'm just trying to relax. So I'm gonna take it back maybe like next weekend or something. I might muster up enough energy to go do it tomorrow, but I doubt it. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna take that back. That yarn project is dead. It's dead. I can't take all the yarn back because I did cut one of them yesterday. So I'm gonna end up having to keep that one. And it was the one that's like the size of this blanket, the thick, chunky one. Um, so I can't take that one back. But the rest of them can go back and this poster board can go back, hopefully. So yeah, I'm about to take y'all to my room and show 
what I did for the pictures because I realized I never showed what I did in the picture frame. So, yeah, this is, look, so these mirrors, this is, get the vision. So I was going to get two of these, two of these mirrors and turn them horizontally and stack them on top of each other. Um, and that was going to be like the image that's over my bed, not image, but that was going to be what's over my headboard or whatever. Um, but they had a stop, so they really throwing me off, but it's fine. I can just pick it up Monday. I'm so, cause the pot was so cute. I literally was taking it out the bag to say, y'all look how cute the pot is. It was just like a nice little smooth gray. A nice little smooth gray. It was so cute. And then I broke it. And then I broke it, so. Yeah, I'm about to clean this up first and then I'll go upstairs. In the midst of me getting ready to clean this up, I realized that all of these little shards of ceramic or glass or whatever it was there's no way i'm gonna be, ever be able to glue that back together so i probably won't end up putting the pot back together it's probably just gonna stay exactly how it is and i got the broken side because really only half of it um broke i had the broken side turned towards the back so as long as you ain't in here going all up on nobody's cabinets i mean you probably can see it from this angle you can definitely see it from this angle but whatever who who is looking at hard let me see. That's not mine. I don't really use this side of the cabinet. I usually just open this side. That's where all the, you know, the grocery bags and stuff is. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is fine. And then I did go ahead and put all of my souvenir cups in here. Um, so yeah. And it's dusty. I need to dust up here. But I honestly, until like last week, I never even thought about the top of this cabinet ever. So whatever. Don't judge me. Judge mom. So, this is the silhouette one. Divine feminine female energy. I love it. Um, okay. So, I've changed the bedding. And I'm about to put the black pillowcases on those um, white pillows right there. And then these, this is what the framed um, angel number images look like. I love them. I don't mind that I didn't get the bigger frames um, because these are great. I still haven't found a vanity tray for this thing right here. And it still ain't cleaned up um, <laughs> this vanity desk either. But like I said, I was supposed to get the two mirrors stack them and then that was going to be like the centerpiece I guess of the room but whatever that didn't work because Target be lying okay so this whole bedding situation is an, is an experience all on, on its own or experiment that's what I meant to say it's an experiment I mean it has been an experience but these are just some cheap little um, ten dollar uh, pillowcases from Target, and they still look like they're too big. But you know, whatever. Um, so originally I wanted to get three of the twenty six by twenty six throw pillows or decorative pillows, um, and put them in the back, and then put gray pillowcases on these pillows. But um. I decided to see, do the cost, the more cost effective way first and see if I like it, which was this way. So let's see how it hit or miss.
to do for now. And then also, so I got my pink throw right here. Um, I'm also ordering a teal one and I'm gonna like double layer them across the bed just to, you know, kind of liven it up, spruce it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show y'all the pictures. Clearly can't show y'all how the mirrors look because they didn't have the fucking mirrors. So anyway, um, yeah, this is the bed situation. I'm not about to iron these, uh, this duvet cover because number one, I don't own the iron. That's because number two, I don't iron. Um, so it's just gonna be what it's gonna be. I did wash it though before, like I put it on my bed and I put it on um, the wrinkle prevention setting. Clearly that didn't work. But I also been sleeping in it. I think it's like my third or fourth night sleeping in it. Sleeping on it, under it, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's that. Hey y'all. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> I honestly don't even know if this is gonna be another video or a continuation in a different video, but whatever. I'm gonna just do an intro now because y'all know I keep seeming to forget to do them. So, welcome back to my channel. Please go ahead and subscribe, turn your notification bell on, like this video and comment. I like to interact. So if y'all got questions about where I got anything from or you know how I did anything, styled anything, Leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. All right. So y'all remember, y'all see my little silhouette picture in the back, right? Cool. So y'all remember that I said, um, that I said I wanted to put mirrors up um, in between, but whatever. I went and picked some up from Walmart today. So I got two. So I went ahead and put one of them up already. Um, and I think I did pretty good. Like, it looked pretty level. All I did was eyeball it. Like, I really didn't, <laughs> I really didn't, like, measure or anything. So, so far, so good. I eyeballed it, and it looked all right. Um, I'm about to try to put the second one up. So, the issue is, let's just bring the issue to the forefront. The issue is, I do not have enough um, command strips, okay? Well, I do but I don't have the right size. This size would be a good size because I believe this size holds, you know, heavier ones. But I only have one of those and I literally just found that in like the bottom of a box somewhere, I don't know. These are, <laughs> these are the ones that I have right now. Um, and I think these only hold up to like two pounds or something. Now, the mirrors, they're not, you know, this is the mirror right here. They're not heavy, like, Look, it's real flimsy, like, but you know, I'm talking about, I know that for real. But because it's gonna be over my bed, I would just hate for this mirror to fall on my head one night while I'm sleeping. Um, so I already put the first one up, and I, you know, <sighs> tried to get it down really stable. It feels like it's stable, but you know, you never know because adhesive be tricky sometimes so we're just gonna go ahead and try to put the second one up and then also i think i want to take the good vibe sign that i had downstairs and bring it up here um so i kind of already put like the push pins in the wall to see if i like it um i don't know yet because i think the cord might be too short for me to run it down but we are gonna see i see the first one's up it looks pretty even the push pins are already up there um and, um, well, y'all can't see that part anyway, so never mind. Um, all right. So first, I really wanna see if I even like the way it looks. Cause honestly, I could probably could've just got away with just doing one and being extremely satisfied with that. But y'all know me, I'm a little extra. I 
I would ride with two. I mean, probably would have been fine with just one, though. But I'm still gonna put this other one up here because I already bought it. And I damn sure don't feel like going to take it back. Which is part of the reason why I didn't go get my other command hooks. I mean, strips say because I'm not feeling my best today. I don't feel great. So. I'm just about to put the strips on the, on the mirror. Okay, so I already put the command strip part on there. Now this little middle middle one, I did not do that for this mirror. Um, Cause I ain't having it. <laughs> I dug off the time that's in the bottom of the box on there. And I've checked all of the bottom of the boxes that I have <laughs> for more already. And I mean, I have these little Velcro ones that's over here, but we'll just see what this says. Hopefully it does enough that it won't be falling off hitting me in my head while I'm asleep, you know? But y'all see how like bendable, bendy, whatever. This is flexible, this is. They're not that heavy. They're not heavy at all. Y'all, these mirrors were seven dollars from one box, seven dollars each. All right, so this is my good vibes LED bond that the damn chain keeps falling out of. Well, it's only falling out one side, too. I don't understand why. Okay. Now it's falling out of both. drop the extension cord behind the behind the bed. So I think I like this and I feel like the good vibes go with the you know positive abundance and alignment and balance. You know good vibes, right? Yeah so I think I'ma just leave this up here um until tonight so I can see don't mind my bed. I clearly was just standing on it. But I'm going to just leave this up here till tonight to see what kind of vibes it's giving. To see if I like it. Um, It looks nice. But I got to do the little room refresh trick. So what I always do is when I add something new and I can't tell if I like it or not, I leave out the room and then I come back and be like, oh, if I, you know, if I'm like, okay, it's giving, then it can stay. But if I be like, uh then it gotta the fuck go. It gotta go. So, we'll see. I'll let y'all know. Okay, so hold on before I, before we go. I just wanna say that I've I just been standing here, you know, trying to figure out how I feel about this. The good vibe sign can stay. I gotta figure out the situation about the cord, but the sign can stay for the reason that it brightens up the room without 
over brightening the room. You know, like, and I don't have a ceiling light yet. I am going to get, like, a cute little chandelier ceiling fan situation. Let me fix my bed, and then we're going to come back and see. We're going to do a little quick little recap. See how we feel about it. Y'all, I ain't did some shit. So, okay, I went to go fix the pillows and the bed and everything. BTW, I lied. I think I might actually get a steamer because the wrinkles in this duvet is, they, they bother me. They bother me every day, especially when I'm trying to, you know, get the look together so I can get the luxurious feel. And I come in here and I see wrinkles. <sighs> Whatever. That's a different story. Y'all, I think I messed up my damn um, good vibe sign. Y'all see the cord hanging down or whatever because I was just over there. Like, oh, okay, the, the bed and stuff is made up again. The pillows look straight. Um, I mean, mine is that one over there. I don't know what the hell is going on because I just fixed it. But whatever. Um, let's, you know, let's get an overview of the look. Went to go... Uh, turn the good vibes light back on because I had turned it off because when I went over there, I felt that the thing was getting hot. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, let me unplug it. Sometimes LED lights do that. Let me just, you know, unplug it. So I unplugged it while I was, you know, doing other stuff around the room, whatever. Go to plug it back up and turn it back on and it ain't come on. So then I'm like, oh, well, I don't know. Maybe something wrong with Let me, you know, let me switch around did that two or three times and nothing it's still not on so i am it's still a little warm i clearly got it unplugged right now um so i am gonna leave it unplugged for maybe like another 15 20 minutes and i'm gonna try it again i hope that the extension cord is not what is not what messed it up. Ooh, it's about to rain. I'm about to get a good little relaxed situation. And I did just clean these um, mirrors, but I obviously put my fingers on it while I was putting them up. So I'm gonna have to go wipe it down again. But yeah, honey, I don't, I don't, I don't like this. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. But I did figure out like so. I'm gonna put a little hook behind here, behind the headboard, and I'm gonna hang the extension cord right there. And then at night, because that little button is going to be too hot up for me to turn it on and off, I'm going to just unplug it. Um, and that'll be how I turn it off. That's if I ever get it to turn back on, though. So, I'm going to just have to keep y'all posted on that. Because I'm going to be hella mad. Because I could have left it downstairs, if that, if that's the case. Could have definitely left it downstairs. But I'm going to be mad if it's messed up. But I can just order another one. I think I got it off Amazon. It probably was like $40, maybe. $30, $40, though. So. I'll keep y'all posted. Okay, so it is nighttime. Not that you can tell because the light is very bright. I did get it to work again. It just, I guess, needed to cool down like the um, extension cord had got it too hot or something. Um, But so this is what it's looking like. You know, it's a cute little vibe. And I decided to leave it up there for this reason. Like, you see how bright it is in the room? The only other lights that are on in the room is my little salt rock lamp. As you can see, it's 9.14 p.m. Um, and then the little LED candles over here. But these are barely giving off, you know, light, light. And it has the whole room bright. So, I love it. I'm going to just keep it here. Um, I might get a different one that says something different, like a longer one, but I like it. This is good. So we're going to just keep it here. I'm about to actually get ready for bed because I told y'all earlier that I was not really feeling well. I still don't feel that great. So, um, but I just wanted to show how it looked. Um, and so this, I was just laying on the bed too, so. This is kind of how everything looks so far, and I love it. All right, y'all, what's good? So, it's been a long time. I should know that she, she was out of dope beat. Step two. Anyway, okay. So, we are in my bathroom because I am about to redecorate my bathroom. Um... <clears throat> This pink in here is really bothering me. Like, I'm not, I, I mean, I am a girly girl as far as, like, hair, nails, makeup, and all this stuff. But pink is just not, like, really my thing for real, for real. Um, and really, the set that I got, I bought it because it was supposed to be rose gold. But it got here, 
and it was my, it was pink and I just kind of lived with it but now I'm over it for real for real so um the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these towels because I bought some new towels they really display towels because I don't plan on using them but I bought some towels and I'm gonna put them in the washer and then I need to take everything out the bathroom that's currently in here and clean it and then I can start decorating it so this is really just kind of gonna be probably like um a voiceover video beyond this point so yeah we just about to get into it because i actually need my music to get through this part because it's a little late i mean it's not it's probably like 6 40 right now but y'all know daylight savings and the sun that went down so i'm kind of feeling nah, like i want to lay down but <laughs> i'm gonna do this instead so yeah y'all just gonna watch me do it i probably won't really i won't actually be talking but i'll do a voiceover and editing um so yeah let's get this bear from Look, 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 pink. I mean, it's cute, y'all. It's cute. I'm, I'm gonna do a little before and after shot, but it's cute, but uh, uh, I just, I'm over it. So, let's get started. Okay, so I know the washer is going and it's loud and the music is going. Hold on. Alexa, pause music. Okay, so the bathroom is cleaned out now. Now I actually have to, oh, cleared out. The bathroom is cleared out. I actually need to clean it now. 
Um, I'm not gonna do that on camera because I'm actually about to get on the phone. But I'll come back when it's clean. And I'm actually about to change clothes because it's hot as hell on here right now while this washer is going and I'm moving around doing all the other stuff. All right, y'all. So at this point, I was just rambling. But if you want to see the final transformation of my bathroom, then make sure you stay tuned for the next vlog. In order to do that, you got to turn on your post notification bell. But that means you got to subscribe to the channel. So go ahead and subscribe, turn on your post notification bell, like this video, share this video, and comment on this video, and come back for the next video.